Hello friends, welcome back to CCS Certified Channel. Today I am covering the more cloud concepts. In the previous lecture one, I have covered the cloud deployment models. Today I will co cover the cloud service models. It is topic three. I have already covered topic one and topic two as a cryptography in IAM. And as I informed before, uh, uh, around 15 questions you can expect from cryptography, my lecture, topic one le uh, lectures. In, from topic 2 you can expect around 10 to 12 questions and from this cloud concept also you can expect around 10 to 15 questions so uh, if you don't enroll for any of the classes even you follow my uh, videos you will able to qualify the exam I will cover the most important questions and concept in this video series and before I jump to the topic 3 lecture 2 I would like to cover the peace of mind which is a promotional activities by IC square so in this if you enroll by or purchase the voucher by 30th April uh, you may write exam first attempt by 15th May in case you don't qualify you still have a free second attempt to give by to write by 15 July so it's very good offer if you want to become a CCSP or any other certification you want to do from IC square because you go to exam with a relaxed mind even though you don't qualify you will understand the exam pattern and majority of the cases uh, you qualify in the first attempt on, on, only I clear in my first attempt only and my students also clear couple of them uh, last month with the first attempt only so better you plan for the peace of mind offer when you go for the exam uh, how do you prepare so uh, normally I conduct the classes based on this peace of mind offers so I'm starting new batch from 11th April onward you can roll for this this from 8 a.m. to 9 15 previously it was planning to finish by 19 May but if you are if any of you will uh, planning to write this uh, piece of offer I will finish it before and uh, as it is for working professional I will make it this four days more flexible as per the audience choice it will be four days a week I will share the classroom recordings in the private YouTube channel in case you miss the class it will be multi-language if you want to uh, uh, ask or discuss anything on Hindi any other language like apart from English I can support I can uh, you can ask queries I can answer so koi bhi language mein aap sakte ho, hum discuss kar sakte hai. this not an issue though exam will be in English only if you are interested write me at the CCSP certified at the gmail.com there is a second option in case you want to write the exam you want to write the exam for the peace of mind but still you don't have time to go for classes so for dedicated classes you can ask for these recordings uh, my classroom recording this I'm uploading on a YouTube channel with the name as CCSP classroom recording I will share the link in this zoom chat so if you purchase this recording uh, I will not only give the recording my PPT uh, question banks test papers my guidance along with these recordings you can purchase them at very nominal price so if you don't enroll for the batches go for the recording and write the exam I will give you 100% assurance that you will get the exam cleared in the first attempt only. Uh, my many of the students has cleared. You can see, see my LinkedIn page. I will share the LinkedIn URL also in the uh, Zoom description. Their feedback you can read. Now I come to the topic of the day, which is the service model. So we have seen the previous videos that deployment models. First check that before going through this there are four deployment models public private hybrid and community we have seen the difference between them and the few examples and as I mentioned this these are all the rental services same like renting a bus uh, for public purpose renting a bus for private purpose and the hybrid and communities are for a specific use case we have seen now the service models so when you rent um, and you use rent a service also which type of service you are want you want a software as a service platform as a service or infrastructure as a service so we'll see what is the difference between these, these three service models so in traditional IT uh, infrastructures let's say you have own data centers so you worry about the networking storage servers virtualization operating systems middleware runtime data and applications so before you deploy the application you set up everything at your end you manage everything at your end but uh, in the as pass and SaaS models you can bypass some of the responsibilities to the provider and in all deployment models like whether it is a public private hybrid community as pass SaaS is applicable in every model so like in infrastructure as a code uh, 
you don't need to worry about the networking storage server virtualization and operating system this is the host operating systems so whole virtualizations uh, so there is a uh, operating systems be, uh, here in this layer also you don't worry about the server operating systems but you worry about the only this area the operating systems on the uh, uh, virtual ma uh, machine or vm you install and the middleware runtime java other libraries data and applications and the uh, the area here is it is a shared responsibility model so uh, data is always a responsibility model of the share between the csp and the customer but apart from this all this uh, one two three four fives are the part of infrastructure as a service model same as a platform as a service model it is a more a developer platform where you only uh, uh, worry about your application in the data all the middleware runtime and operating systems are the services managed by the csp itself but in the software as a service you are not worry about anything even the application they are hosted by the csp but again i mentioned data you are worried because data is a part of the shared responsibility model so when question comes ask about the data it is always a shared model uh, uh, and uh, responsibility wise but legally on the legal jurisdictions wise data uh, responsibility is the customer responsibility like the company who is storing the collecting the data of the customer who is responsible not the csp but we'll cover that later in the detail but in the as pass SaaS model SaaS has a least responsibility model where you don't responsible for everything you you are highly dependent on the csp they manage everything you just purchase the license number of the users or account you want to use so let's say fuse an application by oracle or other SaaS applications o365 by microsoft so they 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 just manage all the application you just purchase the license of the number of users so you will get some admin accounts to manage the applications but applications management completely in the hand of the csp so here you always uh, have less control and high dependency on the csp in the past model it is in between between us and sas you have a some uh, uh, control better than sas you can still start and stop your application here you cannot do anything you can manage your data their encryption but in the us you have at least uh, have a control of which operating system you will use you can stop and start services middleware components so as pass sas has a different service model different responsibilities also and different controls also so when you don't have much control you are highly dependent on the customers in the in the infrastructure service you have a more control than pass and sas and and we will cover the vendor locking vendor locking a situation where you cannot leave the vendor because you are highly dependent on the vendor so in software as a service you are highly dependent on the vendor the high chances of the vendor looking in the SaaS service least in the as service so high responsibility low responsibility but low responsibility but high chances of the vendor looking low chances of the vendor looking more control on the data and application so ccsp ask few questions on this we will see some sample question in the end of this uh, uh, theory lecture but they ask they, they frame a scenario and they ask which service model you should select and uh, based on this what is your capabilities what is the responsibilities you will see so here only you are responsible only for your data here you are responsible for your application whatever application you deploy here your application responsible from operating systems to the application this is as pass and sas model deployment models in the cloud these are the service models in the cloud so a few examples we have seen that aws oracle google cloud they are the our service they are giving uh, kvm and ceph in the past we have seen the github gitlab dockers they are the past service uh, but in saas we have seen the outlook fusion hot uh, hub sport very zone these are the saas service and we have taken all these images from the internet for the learning purpose we claim no copyright for them uh, now there are two more services that these are common in the industry uh, actually there are many but most important are three more one is identity as a service so what is identity as a service we already have seen in iam also 
is an identity as a service or IDAAS is a cloud based authentication built and operated by third party providers. Here you provide you, you hand over your identity management uh, functionality to any third party IAM systems. So all CSP provide the identity access management capabilities and you either you purchase their service or you hand over this to any third party. So in federation proxy and web of trust model we have seen that uh, either we each service provider trust each other identity provider and service provider and they do a cross certification and this way each can work as an identity provider and service provider but in proxy all the parties depend on the third party and third party work as an identity provider and they work as a service provider so if the third party work as an identity provider it is known as an identity as a service so next one in this one is a security as a service so we have seen that uh, uh, what is the security as a service you cover first security as a service allow companies to use an external provider to handle the and manage the cyber security so they can outsource the security solutions that cover services like data loss prevention, antivirus management, intrusion detections. So whatever the responsibility of the companies, they can bypass this by uh, purchasing the security as a service. In the cloud, uh, we have seen that uh, operating system uh, management is part of the, uh, uh, the customer if they are in the identity as a service to manage the operating system patches, uh, to apply the security patches of these middleware and and other components is the responsibility of the customer but in case they uh, they purchase a security as a service they can bypass this responsibility to csp and csp can provide these services by some cost so this is a csp uh, based service model where the csp take care of the uh, security part those were uh, the responsibility of the customer the last one in this is the function as a service here uh, sometimes it is known as a uh, serverless architecture also here uh, in the function as a service is a type of cloud computing service that allow you to execute code in the response to event without the complex infrastructure purchasing the without the complex inf infrastructures if you want to test and run a code and you don't want to purchase a, uh, a server CPU memory RAM database you can uh, use the uh, function as a service you run this function and test it and execute it as per your requirement all the service provider like Amazon provide AWS Lambda Google provide Google functions Microsoft Azure also provide the function functionalities to work as a function as a service so it is same like serverless architecture in serverless architecture it is not that server is not there but the developer need not to worry about the server configuration like when they write a code they did not need not to worry about the input output errors uh, that buffer overflow memory uses cpu utilizations resource allocations they can write based on the maximum uh, resources and server will auto add the resources based on the requirements so serverless architecture here server is involved but you don't need to worry about the server constraints so function as a service also part of the serverless architecture so this is we have covered theory part we have seen the ask pass SaaS service models we have seen apart from this identity as a service security as a service and function as a service and at least three to four question you will see in your exam paper from this uh, service deployment models itself so i will co i'm covering few questions from the question banks the first one is the uh, this uh, alice is a ceo for the software company she is considering migrating the op operation from current traditional on-premise environment to the cloud. Which cloud service model should she most likely consider for her company purpose? So when you go in exam, you always, as I informed before, I'll also always read the options and eliminate the options. So first we'll eliminate the destructor because there is nothing like wake up as a service we have seen and it is not something relevant to us. Now there is a ask, pass and SaaS models. So when when they give the scenario, they will give the type of the company you are. And if it is a uh, type of the company, will decide what type of the service model will be best for you. If it is software as a service, you're, you need a developer uh, console, developer platform where your developers can develop the codes. 
then software as a service will not be a solution because you need a software company you are a software company you need a uh, developer console now the pass in us both can give you developer console but in us you need to not only uh, they give the developer console but you need to give take more infra so you need to pay more and you need to manage more so whenever they don't ask you specific about the requirement you always go with the least uh, uh, cost model least requirement whatever the model can fulfill your requirements so in that case we will eliminate the us also and pass will able to give the all the developer console that's needed to us so in the exam you always try to read the question uh, first and try to understand the requirement because sometimes the same question we'll see the other question also may have answer us also may have answer us also depend on the scenario so let the second scenario in which of the following situation does the data owner have the have to administer the operating systems so that we have seen that they are asked pass and sas model there is a on side arch archive we remove this first in the os management we have seen that sas we don't need to manage anything apart from the data in pass we manage application data then in the as only we we need to manage the virtual op machine operating systems Sorry, the answer is us, but the answer written is C. It is A, us, identity as a service. The next question in the, if the organization want to retain the most control of their asset in the cloud, which service deployment model combination should they choose? Now, they they want to know the most control uh, is the, the criteria you have to select. So when they ask about the most cost, they want to know about the software company, they want to know about the most controls read this keyword and understand and give the answer accordingly so most control comes when you have a most responsibilities bigger responsibility give the bigger uh, power bigger power gives the bigger responsibility like, same like you have a more power you can control more so in SaaS you have a least power you cannot manage anything so we'll eliminate that option now that we have pass and SaaS if we have a RS and pass then definitely pass will be the second option we will go with the us as we also have a hybrid cloud and private cloud we have seen previously private clouds is the one where you are the only vendor you have the complete control it is like private uh, ola or uber you have hired you can ask driver to stop anywhere you can ask driver to change the route if he if the ola allowed same way you can ask driver to stop right or come the place you want you have a maximum control over the resources or asset so we'll go with that options so always choose the option based on the scenario here the answer will be d infrastructure as a service in the private cloud the second last question if the organization want to realize the most cost saving by reducing administrative overhead which service and deployment model combination should they choose so first they want to have a most cost effective solutions cost effective solution will come and once I uh, once we have a RASPAS SaaS model the SaaS based and once and we have a public based so public cloud is a cheapest cloud they have a list uh, 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 and uh, in the SaaS we have a list uh, uh, overhead of administrating the services because in the us we have to manage everything in SaaS we just need to manage the uh, data so option answer will be C here but if the same question ask if the if the software company want to realize the most cost saving solution then answer will be passed because software company would need a software interface to be developed in those scenarios we will select the pass and the public which is not an option here but in, in those cases it will be there so understand the difference if the need is software company has a need of pass or, or is console to develop the code SaaS will not be a solution but if they don't define any company then we will always go with the most cost saving which is SaaS the cheapest between these three and public cloud which is also cheapest in the all four deployment model of the cloud the last question this is the also exam question was there uh, in my exam which service model would have less like a developer console so which in which uh, model we will not get a developer console so in us we'll have a definitely a developer console even we have a operating systems everything in past we'll have a application 
and a developer console private cloud is also a option which is to be eliminated because it is not a service model it is a deployment model and uh, it private cloud also have a as per SaaS services so it along with the private cloud if you purchase as service as a pass service you will have a developer console but in SaaS, SaaS you will never have a developer console because here you just responsible for your data and you only have a accounts to manage your uh, resources but you don't have a console to develop the codes so this for today we have uh, seen uh, we have seen one more questions let's see which is the benefit for the private cloud deployment models uh, we already have seen this question so let's for that this for the today thank you for watching my channel like my channel subscribe my channel